in this video we are going to see what is dissociation and degree of dissociation now what is dissociation and degree of dissociation so let us understand this to understand what is dissociation the very important things or the two terms what we are we dealing with throughout the chapter the first term is ionization and the second is dissociation there is a major difference between the two students now what is that let us take a molecule that is nacl and if i put this in water i will get na plus and cl minus ions if i take water then water will form h plus and oh minus ions now in the first example what i am doing is i am separating the two ions now if you see here i am separating the two ions which were already in the ionic form means what i am doing i am just separating the two ions i am not creating any new ions so only when i am separating the two ions this process is called dissociation and when i form ions from a molecule do you see any ions here there is no charge here this is a covalent molecule so here i am creating the ions so this process is called ionization that is the major difference between dissociation and ionization both terms they are different in short i can say dissociation word we use for ionic compounds whereas ionization word we use for covalent compounds if i see here already the ions they are formed here so what i am doing is i am only separating them into or i am separating or i am taking them away from each other this is called dissociation here i am forming the ions so this is ionization so depending upon the type of the example we will be using the words as ionization and dissociation so let us see what is dissociation dissociation actually is a process it is a process in which the ions are separated from each other or from the molecule where they already exist in the ionic form example here can be nacl if i put this in water so if you see this this is already existing in the ionic form i am just separating the ions so i will get na plus and cl minus so students this is what is called as dissociation so what is dissociation it is a process in which the ions they are or from in a molecule they are separated from each other which already exist in the ionic form so this is what is dissociation now let us see what is degree of dissociation so to understand degree of dissociation let me take one example here example say for example i am taking a molecule ab which is 100 initially and when i dissolve this in water to form a plus and b minus initially i will not get anything because as soon as i put that in water the process will not take place the process will take few time to proceed so as i will observe after some time this becomes 99 so i can say some amount is formed here say this is x and this is x what will happen student this will go on decreasing and this will go on increasing now a stage will come where a equilibrium is established now at that point if i see whatever the concentration here will be formed i will call that as the dissociated ions right so this will continuously go on decreasing and this will continuously go on increasing so what can be the definition for degree of dissociation how much has dissociated 
that is important so it is a ratio of so let us see the definition for degree of dissociation degree of dissociation is denoted by alpha so let's see the definition now so this is the definition for degree of dissociation if you see it is denoted by alpha it is the fraction of total number of moles of an acid or base of an electrolyte that splits up into its ions in an aqueous solution when equilibrium is established so what is actually alpha alpha is now i will put that in the ratio form it is the number of moles that dissociate or moles undergoing dissociation at equilibrium upon total number of moles present initially what it means students if i take a initially i have taken one mole and in initially there won't be any b how much how many moles i have taken initially is one as the time passes say for example here it is 0.7 and this is 0.3 so how much has dissociated is 0.3 what is dissociated so alpha is equal to here if it equilibrium is established then what is alpha is 0.3 divided by initial number of moles what i have used so alpha is equal to 0.3 if you see that it is a ratio of same physical quantities and so this is a unitless quantity so i will not use any unit for this but usually this degree of dissociation is expressed in percent so this is what actually degree of dissociation is now when i say it is used in percent what it means we calculate the degree of dissociation or for calculations degree of dissociation is given in percent so a particular solute dissociates and its degree of dissociation is say 20% is what if 100 moles are added then only 20 of that dissociates so this is how 20 upon 100 or this way we express in percent now let us see the factors on which this degree of dissociation depends now those are the factors on which the degree of dissociation depends the first is nature of solute if i want more of the substance to dissociate then what type of substances i should select they should be strong electrolytes what are strong electrolytes students strong electrolytes means strong acids strong base and salts of all types so this is the first condition that if i want more and more of the solute to get dissociated then the substance must be a strong electrolyte by that i mean it should be a strong acid a strong base or salt of any type then it will have a good degree of dissociation come to the next one that is nature of solvent the solvent should have a high polarity or the solvent should be polar if i want more and more degree of dissociation concentration of the solution should be dilute if the solution is made more and more dilute then the degree of dissociation will increase and temperature of course you know as the temperature goes on increasing what happens to solubility solubility also increases when the solubility increases means what degree of dissociation also increases so degree of dissociation will directly depend upon temperature so in order to have maximum degree of dissociation which factors or which things i should select that to have maximum degree of dissociation i should always use a strong electrolyte means it should be a strong acid a strong base or salt of any type next the solvent what i should select should have maximum polarity the temperature i should maintain high next last is the solution i should make dilute if i want a good degree of dissociation thank you students